And as a team, we, we've come to the decision that... Um, Don't put that on camera. What's happening guys? We're back for another little vlog. We've got some big news dropping at the end of the video. Uh, but first, I've got a little s &C session uh, with Paul Reed. Paul works with guys like Paddy, works with Molly. we been working with Paul now for the last month or so. So, show you a little bit of what we're doing, what we've been working on. And yeah, stay tuned and you'll have the news at the end. Who's that? Me. <laughs> you? It doesn't look like you at all. <laughs> but I've done a lot with him. I can send it. He just runs a report, shows him body sessions, minutes. What it does is track where you start to lift him and start showing the development yeah. and in that exercise. To show, to, the reason I use it, mate, if I'm honest, I'm like, people go in and go, I have the best company in life, and they go, do you know that? Yeah. Feel all right. What if I give you a report there. to show you this is where you started and this is where you ended? Mm -hmm. Here it's a big part of going like I have got better, I have got stronger, I have got faster. Yeah, so you want a slight angle, so let me turn over there. That's about it, yeah? yeah. So look, push it through, break the glass, push it through, break the glass. A little bit more than my hands. Oh, yeah. That's it, we're really getting that leg kicking back. That's it. There, yeah. Yeah. That's it. How's that feeling? Nothing major. A little bit on the right leg, obviously right knee. And that, does that feel a lot of effort? No. I want to see what angle you get to the next yeah. place, right? Well, that was alright. Was, if I say 80-90, that was fine. Okay, so now we're going to have to start filming this leg, you know what you're doing. Yeah. Now, if you start getting paid for that, then we'll focus on back with balls and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, but, but no, I wouldn't be that's a massive part of endurance. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that went um, that went major pain at all. I don't have squatted since before the last one. Because the last one was in the knee. Just, just do a few. I just want you to feel how that goes, like just at that limit. So we stay on the on yeah, the right. Yeah, just stay, just stay, just push it. You can almost push against the bar. Just let me know how that feels. There you go. So just eyes are falling just a little bit. There you go. That's it, mate. Two, go. See, that's going to be a great difference when we start getting you them with the rack balls as well. Yeah. Because you're getting them pain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Rack balls. Okay. Get the Jack Tang Show slash JSA uh, Subology t shirts, link in the description. Like how we should wake up healthily. I'm trying to reverse the conversation slightly away from weight cutting to say, when you go in these large deficits that you require to do, you've got to remember that you haven't got enough fuel to adapt and recover. Yeah. That means when you get to the game, you'll never be as good as an athlete will no. because there's not enough fuel. You're eating like fuel and calories every rest of metabolic rate. How are you supposed to do rest and see? Do your runs, do your technical training when you've got no fuel. Yeah. There is tricks around time, but ultimately, you're never going to be as good at athlete because you're not fuel. And it's so important that like, people understand that. It's yeah, not yeah. just about the. the it's moving course. in our direction now, anyway. Think, well, a couple of boys have kind of gone the same route. Yeah, Josh, yeah. Josh Reed. A couple of them just like lying off fucking doing it. Okay. Right then, as promised, we've got a bit of news for everyone. So. Been a little bit quiet on um, social media within the podcast the last few weeks. Um, since my last fight, um, I've been injured obviously, so I had a little bit of time to do some sort of tests and stuff on my body. Um, so I've been up to Liverpool, um, done DEXA scans, uh, BMR, B yeah, I think it's BMR tests, amongst various others. Um, and as a team, we, we've come to the decision that uh, my band weight days are over and uh, we're officially making the move up to 145, back to featherweight, uh, where I started my pro career. Um, so after speaking to the doctors and the scientists up at the University of Liverpool, um, band weight is just not doable no more. Uh, we kind of knew that anyway. Last four cuts have been very, very tough. Um, probably had some sort of effect on my performance to some extent um, but you know we won't get into that that's, that's neither you nor know, Nate but um, so yeah going forward 
we'll, uh, we'll be moving up to 145, the UFC's away, management's away. Um, so looking forward now to being able to do a fight camp that's not revolved around cutting weight and losing weight and that's revolved around becoming a better fighter, a more skillful fighter, a stronger fighter and hopefully going in there on the night 100% um, filled, ready and, uh, and a different animal.